Rep. Newt Bueller, the Bend Republican expected to be his party's nominee for governor next year, had the rear window of his car smashed in a break-in Friday morning when parked on the South Park blocks near the Portland Art Museum, a campaign official said. His communication director tweeted a photo and said the vandalism was emblematic of what he indicated was a widespread crime problem in Oregon's largest, and Democrat-dominated, city. The next governor of Oregon just experienced firsthand what people are experiencing all over the city on a daily basis. Do you think maybe Portland has a crime problem? Tweeted Jonathan Lockwood, the communications director. Vandalism drive at Newt Bueller's rear windshield smashed on the side of the road in Portland. The next governor of Oregon just experienced firsthand what people are experiencing all over the city on a daily basis. Do you think maybe Portland has a crime problem? Number or poll number pdstrafficpick.twitter.com slash isbcesvpl. No one should accept as a daily part of life, walking out to their car on their way to work, or to a meeting and coming to a smashed windshield and theft, Bueller said in a statement. Oregonians need and deserve better. As governor, I will work with city officials to help improve the lives and well-being of all Oregonians. Bueller, a surgeon and legislator in his second term in the Oregon House, is vying to face off against incumbent Gov. Kate Brown, a Democrat, in the November 2018 election. Six people have filed for the Republican primary, though Bueller is the presumptive frontrunner. He has raised a sizable $2.1 million this year. Brown has raised $2.3 million. Brown and Bueller last faced off at the ballot box in 2012, when they were the two major party candidates running for Secretary of State. Brown was the incumbent and won with 51% of the vote. Gordon R. Friedman G. Friedman at Oregonian.com. 503-221-8209, at Gordon Friedman.